Okay, let's talk notification weight. Sometimes you're gonna have overlapping intents for your notification. For example, you have a notification that tells the assignment group that an incident has been assigned to them. But perhaps you have another notification that specifically fires when a P1 incident is assigned to an assignment. There will be occasions where those two overlap and because we wanna be good stewards of the user experience, we don't want to send two notifications to the same person on the same event. ServiceNow handles this by a concept called notification weight. If multiple notifications are true, it checks to see if there are weights assigned to the notifications, and if there are, the highest weighted notification will be the one that is sent, all the others will be ignored. But there is an exception of this that you have to be aware of. To demonstrate this, I've defined three notifications all on the same event trigger and all with different weights. We have one weighted at 10, one and zero. So here I am in background scripts. If my background scripts looks a little bit different than yours, that's because I am using the most awesome browser plugin called SNUtils. It's made by a gentleman named Arnud Kui. I interviewed Arnud for my Titans of Now series. You can check that video up. It's popping up in the corner right about now. Anyways, here is the script. We're just doing a simple glide record query to fetch us one incident. Then we're gonna use GS Event Queue to launch the event that triggers all these notifications. If you're not familiar with GS Event Queue, I also have a video on that. It'll also be popping up in the corner right about now. So what I'm expecting is we're gonna run this script it's gonna launch all the notifications that trigger off that event, factoring for weight. So we'll run the script. Now we're in the email table and we're seeing that two messages were scheduled to be sent, notification weight test zero and notification weight test 10. Now you remember we defined three notifications. Why didn't all three fire? Well, because 10 is greater than one. But why did the zero fire? Well, according to docs, any notification that is weighted at zero will always fire. And that's why it's so important to understand weight because here is a list of all notifications that come out of box. The vast majority of them are weight zero. So if you're building custom notifications that potentially overlap with out of box ones, you should be either deactivating them, or if you use them, you should at least be changing out of box weights to something greater than zero. Hope you got some insights out of this and I will see you on the next one. My name is Robert the Duke Fedoric. I am a ServiceNow expert with 15 years experience and I can help you in three ways. If you're a ServiceNow customer, I offer consigliere services, ensuring that you get the outcomes that you deserve on all your ServiceNow initiatives. Secondly, I do recruiting, helping you round out your team with every level of ServiceNow experience at a rate that most conventional recruiters can't beat. Finally, I offer success coaching for every level of experience, whether you're trying to break into the ServiceNow ecosystem or close that final mile to the top. I'd love to hear from you. Get in touch with me with the email shown here.